Oof. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date for YouTube. Almost there. Almost there. Ooh, I'm running out of breath right now. Almost there and done. What's up, you guys? You want to know how to get the perfect community? Well, stay tuned and find out because we got the tips for you. My we, <laughs> I mean me. Now, let's get right to the video. All right, now let's go ahead and get started. But first, let me explain something to you while we ended up doing this. Is one thing that you really want to do is one thing you really want to do is pick your community members wisely when you are starting off in the video because you don't want to just start off with just anybody or just any old skill set you want to make sure you have that perfect balance that suits your needs and what suits my needs it may be a lot different from other people I don't know, but I like to have my community set up in a way where if I want to do Nightmare or Lethal, you know, I can do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to get started and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. Now, when you come over here, you can see right now down at the very bottom is a particular skill set. And as you can see what it says right there, you want to make sure you are reading it and making sure you are doing you know not doing but so more so picking out what you find to be best for you guys and what's best for me guys is honestly i like to start off with you know somebody who's really good at medicine and then i like to build up their um i like to build up their medicine upgrade it and more but like i said as you can see i'm just going to be scrolling through showing you guys different skill sets and what they do for you in your community and that's what you want to do when picking your character you want to make sure you are going out picking the people who suits your community but don't just take another youtubers advice by saying you should pick this person you should pick this person you should pick this person have this person no one person you always want to have it's a person who is good at medicine. Like for me, when it comes to mine, I like to have medicine. I want to have a mechanic. And I want to have somebody who is good at making and crafting weapons. But you can't have that to start off. You have to have somebody who's good enough to build your radio tower. So you have to have these things. You have to have... A medicine somebody who's good and they can do your command center and then the third one is really your option for me it was a mechanic because if I'm gonna be playing on a higher difficulty and my car can just continuously take damage real easy I'm gonna want a mechanic to be crafting these toolkits that I'm gonna need or crafting these things that where I can upgrade my vehicle and that's what I wanted for me, but for your community, make sure you have somebody who's really good at medicine and who can upgrade your command center to three, to a tier three, because without that command center, I mean, you're, it's, your base is just pretty much gonna suck. And then your third option is whatever you want. So if you want somebody who is good at cooking, make sure you find a cook with a high enough percentage down there now here in my community this is not even this is like me starting over so this is not my main community this is just our start to show you guys like what it is who i picked um to show off uh my community um but you have to just do what's best for you and trust me, in the end, it'll all work out because once you get your main three people set up, then you can go forth and start building a community with people who have a particular skill set that you might like. And even if they don't have a particular skill set, that is a hundred percent a okay because if they don't have a specific skill set, then what you can do is, um, when you are finding books that have skill sets. 
you can teach that to that community member so let's say you have a community member who has great fighting or not even just great fighting but they might have um great shooting ability you know good stamina something that piques your interest that might want to grab them and you do that and all you have to do now is just simply sit there and work on that brand new person or people however you want to do it however you want to do it it is perfectly fine you you go forth and you do that but just don't you know um waste your time and money not money but waste your influence on somebody you might regret down the line because you're just going to end up exiling them because i've already had to do an exile and trust me it wasn't fun but let me show you guys my main people of my main um base for my game that i play as you can see bill right here is my warlord he's my leader you see his stats we're going to go down his stats and you can see that i put a lot of time and work into bill this right here is my uh, you know you see my second in command well that wasn't my sit but this right here is my second in command patrick he's my mechanic he does everything that i need him to do you guys this is what i mean you see everything he can do right there pause it if you need to but yes that is my second right there this right here is my third in command the one we was just on not clyde <laughs> but yeah so if you want to know how to do it then you can just simply do these things also when you build an outpost and you build it i think to level tier two or three you are able to once again build a skill set for your people so don't go sleeping on the outpost skill set because trust me you guys it works now if you guys enjoy the video please for me hit that like button subscribe and drop a comment down below and tell me what you guys think or how did you guys start your community and who with and remember more tips is going to be coming your guys's way to help you guys survive stay to decay too stay tuned